Okay, so to get this started, just to go through, we got some tomatoes, lettuce, teriyaki, uh, stir fry. I've been putting this in our stir fry, which is broccoli slaw. This is our new pizza we've been getting. Spinach and garlic, it's really good. I got some honey roasted seasoned corn for a side dish. Uh, we got cow kale, pecan, cranberry salad, Southwest cream cheese, which we use for bagels, and my chicken. Some kidney beans, black beans, spaghetti sauce, sweet cherries. We got this because it was on sale. My neighbor likes to make rolls. I got these for taco nights, deli meat, uh, underneath there is a fresh aloe vera stem. I'm planning to use that for my face, apples chicken drumsticks, oranges, a quarter of a watermelon, eggs, <sighs> toilet paper. <laughs> Sorry guys, it's so hot in my house right now. Uh, baby wipes, it's 100 degrees here today. Green onions, we got some mozzarella cheese and taco cheese because I'm doing a special shoot this weekend for a brand, which I'm about to show you guys. Avocados, bananas, uh, we already had some of this and the blood orange, but I got coconut pineapple wraps. Hold on, baby. A red orange, uh, red onion. So these are our new wraps for tortillas for like taco night. They're so good. They're like three dollars and eight cents at Walmart, but they're like really good. Um, my husband can't have a lot of carby stuff anymore, so we've just kind of cut as much of that out. Basil for my shoot, and I'm gonna do caprice with this. It's gonna be so good. Um, Bacon, this is my favorite iced coffee right now. Shout out to Tara Lynn for recommend recommending that coffee on her Instagram stories. It really is seriously so good. Uh, blueberries, a big thing of strawberries, bread, more barbecue sauce for chili, for taco night, green beans, some tea. I get this one, raspberry. I got coconut cream, uh, coffee creamer this time. Paw Patrol mac and cheese because Ava suffered me out of it. Bread and butter pickles. These are our new favorite chips. 92 cents at Walmart. They're so good. This is my favorite. This one's not too bad. It's the chili garlic. Babe got some new shorts. Um, razor, shaving cream, nothing too interesting. We got Ava some more underwear because she's pretty much potty trained. Some new shoes because she needed new sandals. Uh, fruit snacks, big thing of apple cereal, cinnamon cereal, cereal for Cheerios, EOS shaving cream is the one that I use. We use this nighttime lotion on Ava after her bath. Um, I already use this brand because I prefer meatless options. We still have some meat, like we told you guys, we're not full vegan, but we do eat meatless most of the time. So I use Gardein. And I make stir fry with the mandarin orange crispy chi chicken, but it's vegan. Don't mind my dirty pan in the background. I haven't washed it out yet. Uh, classic meatballs. This is what I'm going to be using for my photo shoot because I'm sh I've already used this brand long before this happened, but I'm going to be shooting for this brand. I'm so excited. Stay tuned for the pictures and updates about that. And then for hamburger meat instead of burger meat, I use the ultimate beefless ground for tacos um i make sloppy joes with this pretty much anything you would use meat with um i use this and it's vegan dairy free kosher so uh rice veggie this is cauliflower rice this is what we use instead of rice celery i already have some and then that glitter for this little one and juice that's pretty much it so that's the haul guys hope you enjoyed don't mind the trash right here i haven't cleaned my juicer parts I still need to put away, but anyways, we will catch up.
to my face off and had to do redo my makeup three times just did my makeup in the car um which was kind of complicated i didn't do my hair so they're just gonna get the natural wave of my hair today um so there's just like pressures and stress that come with this stuff but we're all in the car babe's driving the Ba 
Tiny Town and Railroad, and we're going to show you guys what it looks like. So, YouTube. so this is what Tiny Town is, guys. It's like literally a tiny miniature version of like places in Colorado. <laughs> They're about to make a wish in the Tiny Town wishing well. Like, it's even got buildings up there because the train goes by it. Like, 
it's so much fun. It's so cute. You can bring your own picnic lunch. Like. That was me sipping my ice cream. We're at this little tiny town house. Took a few pictures for Coca Cola. I have to take a few more. This is the Pleasant Park School. Tiny house. Historical building. Bikers Club guys. Whoa, is that the saloon? Yeah, it's the bar and saloon. Yeah, no, mine too. I don't even have one. We're going to it. She's having so much fun already. Like. Yes, there's the mountains, guys. Yes, I'm getting a little better with one hand vlogging, guys. They got a little church right there. Ava's found this little house. Okay, so in Colorado, they used to have this place called White Fence Farm. I used to actually work by them. This is a tiny replica of that. <laughs> so cute. So this building is the exact replica of the White Fence Farm, built in 1953. By the Wilson family, the restaurant opened in 1973. This is the original blueprint, but obviously reduced in scale. And this place was actually shut down, sadly. But this is the little white fence farm, guys. In Chalet, to the children of the world. Oh, look. Oh, it is in sorry. And I just dropped my stroller. On the ground, guys. <sighs> okay, sorry. There we go. We got a little... It looks like a lighthouse. It's cute, though. Oh, look, there's Home Depot. Wait, look, Joy, wait. It's so cute. Oh, guys, one hand vlogging is not always easy. They got the tiny town jail. So they're over there looking at the little Alamo part, which I needed to sit down. <laughs> right here, Bougie! So she's over there with her dad right there. There they are, if you guys can see them. And I'm hanging out for a second, just so I can think of some more pictures for this resubmission for coke because I really don't want to bomb this and there's so much beautiful like ideas here so I'm thinking of what to do we're gonna go ride the train Ava's found a friend they're holding hands behind me <laughs> she's already made a friend so we're off to go ride the tiny town train they got a few pictures for Coca Cola, but I'm gonna take a couple more so I have the perfect one. No? 
There's nothing in there. There's the Dr. Seuss house, guys. Last summer, I actually met the family that made this. JD Saloon. to it.
Sweetie Town Estates. Woo! Oh, that's the way I came in. Yeah, Mama here. Mama here, you, babe. See all these little things? Bye, babe. We all had to be put out here. It's great. Now, it's not unusual to find I here. I see you. Oh, yeah, no luck for you. There you go, babe. There's your man cave. <laughs> there it is. Hey! <laughs> Beware. Dinos are ahead. Dinosaur. Nespresso for helping me with my shoot and getting me sponsored so I felt like it was necessary to say thank you and if anything we're gonna hang out there for a little bit then go over to the Castle Rock outlet so I figured we'd take you guys along the ride. Okay, so how many of you guys are They just gave me a celebratory Nespresso for getting sponsored because it's a pretty big deal. Uh, took them their thank you gift. They were super busy so I just handed it to the lady that helped me pick the winning picture with my husband. <laughs> and now we're just walking around. Gonna have some fun. I'm gonna go to Sephora to check out the makeup that doesn't melt in summertime. 
and we're just gonna enjoy our day so we'll keep you guys updated inside Nordstrom I'm checking out the anniversary sale and then I gotta go to Sephora YouTube so we're sitting in front of the little play place with Ava I went to Sephora and I got some new makeup so I wouldn't melt for my shoots because you guys can already tell like see the patches right here because I'm melting away um, with the current makeup that I've been using so I got the Urban Decay Long Lasting Setting Spray uh, I need a new concealer so I got Born This Way I tried out all the mini versions just to see if I like this stuff first before I spent like as much money as it is. Thanks to Liza for hooking a girl up with this recommendation. Uh, that's going to be my foundation. It's the CC cream. She said it's the best for not melting away in summer. And then I got a setting powder, the Too Faced Peach Perfect, 60 bucks, but I figure it's technically for me to work. <laughs> So I justified that for that part. Plus, you know, we're making checks happen, so I can't feel too bad for spoiling myself sometimes. So anyways, that's what we're doing. We're gonna get some lunch and then probably either hear it or go to Castle Rock. So we'll keep you up
Okay, guys. I think we then did a little shopping for Ava. Whoa! Did a little shopping for Ava. Babe got his hat. He's been lying. Sorry, we just pulled the camera out there at the outlet. Now we're about to go look over at Nike. I found a Michael Kors bag I really want, guys, but I'm justifying if I'm really going to do it. So, happy Sunday for her, guys. So, this isn't everything. My husband went to get some of the other stuff, but I figured I would do a little haul for you guys. I gotta sit down because my feet hurt from walking around. So, Ava needed some new flip flops. These are for next summer because she, you know, her little feet grow so fast. So, we got these for her at Children's Place. Um, originally, they were $5 and we got them for a dollar. So, Mama knows how to discount. Uh, this is for one of her birthday outfits. I know her TT is getting her something too. Just a little string right there. Um, she always like spoils her for her birthday. But we got her this unicorn Love My Family shirt because it's so cute. She picked it out. And then she got a children's place. These were originally $6.95. We got them for a dollar. I like these little cute glasses. She really liked them. So that's what we got at Children's Place. My husband just brought in that stuff. So I'll show you guys that stuff in a second. And then you guys already kind of saw what I got at Sephora, but I was kind of rushing because people were behind me. So I got the All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. Um, not only did my tea, uh, Ava's tea tea, my, she's like my second mom, Ms. Val, she is a employee for Sephora, so she told me about this, um, but also Liza Adele has mentioned this before in one of her vlogs, so I know it's, like, everybody loves that. Um, again, I told you guys about the It Cosmetics, so I don't melt in the summer. I'm excited to try this because I've heard good things about the Born This Way Too Faced Concealer. So, they said this is like a really good concealer. Hopefully this is my color. It's the closest to white light as possible because, you know, my skin's not super dark. It's a little tan, but my face isn't as tan as my body parts. Um, and then I got the Too Faced Peach Perfect Mattifying Loose Setting Powder. Um... This looked pretty good to absorb oil. They said it was a good setting powder. So I got that at Sephora and I've already told you guys that was 60 bucks. Um, but I needed it for work. So here's what it is. And then we went to the Oshkosh Bagosh and Carter's for Kids at the uh, Castle Rock Outlet Stores. Ava picked this out because this girl loves tutus. So this could be part of like for this outfit I was thinking. It's kind of why I picked that shirt out like that. Um, this was originally 14 or originally 30 and we got it for $14.99. Um, like I said she picked it out. These she's not going to be able to wear until fall just because they're kind of like I mean if it's a cold summer night maybe but I thought they were adorable. These are size 40. Uh, this is the Carter's brand. Originally it was 20. It was 50% off, so we got it for 10. I always discount off, guys. <laughs> That's just the way that I am. And then, and I know it was TT is going to get her. So I got this as another op option for her birthday. Um, it's a size 7, so it's probably going to be super big on her, but I put it up to her, and she's so tall, it looked like it would probably fit still, and it just says part unicorn, because her birthday is unicorn theme. Um, and that was, sorry, I didn't even tell you guys, the tag part, here it is, uh, originally was $20, this was 70% off, and we got it for $5.49, which I think is so cute. This one is for her to grow into because my kid grows like a freaking weed. So 
so I like to buy up in sizes so she can grow into it. This was originally 20 and we got it for 80% off at $3.99. And it just says totally stellar. It has like the little cutoffs of the sleeve kind of part, but then it's long sleeve. Super cute. And then I got her one more thing at Carter's. Um, it says summer faves. And it had the unicorn floaty, so she's into unicorns. She liked the watermelon and the ice cream on it too. This was originally $18, 60% off. We got it for $6.49. So that's all the clothes we got for her for now. We're still thinking about birthday presents. This was just cause, cause my baby girl needed clothes, birthday party clothes, just clothes in general. Um, my kid's growing, like I said, like a weed. So <laughs> she needed a little extra stuff um you have my husband hand me the next bag in just a second guys okay i'm putting the stuff back in the bag so you guys can see that just so i can keep track of everything i don't want to lose everything and i still gotta put stuff away but ava's asleep finally after her bedtime battle and i had to re-edit this vlog for you guys a second time because somehow my editor did not actually save it so that was beyond frustrating okay, so you guys seen all that oh. then this is what my husband went for because he loves hats and shoes this is from pro image I think this hat was like originally like $50, but they had a dope ass sale, so he got it for $20. He's a Denver Nuggets fan, and he hates snapbacks, so this was the hat that he wanted, and he got it for $20. Bucks. Super was awesome. And I'm telling you guys the prices just because it's what you should do, like it's what we paid for it, so. <laughs> Plus some of you guys might be interested if you live in Colorado. Um, so I figured I'd share it and put that, gotta put the hat down right, guys. And then I went to Bath and Body Works. This was 75% off, so originally a kit like this would have been $16.50, but I got it for $4.45 and the tax. And it came with the body spray, it's Japanese cherry blossom, and the shea butter lotion. I already got stuff at the 70s. 75% semi-annual sale, but we were by it, so I figured I'd go into it. And then I was almost out of, I got that hand sanitizer at the mall that I showed you guys when I went to that Mother's Day thing. So they had their fall scent. They didn't have any fall scents for body spray or lotion. So that was frustrating, but I got the sweet cinnamon pumpkin um, hand sanitizer for my purse. This was $1.75. It was 189 with tax. And then I'm gonna wait to show you guys the last most exciting part for me. Like, um, then my husband, <laughs> there's a funny story behind this. So, my dog, before he passed away, G20, I don't know if you guys remember him, some of you might. He ate my husband's <laughs> Tim boots. Uh, <laughs> and I always told him we should replace it because I felt so bad. So today, finally, two years later, he got himself, and I'm not going to like really mess with them too much, but they're just like really nice. They're like navy blue, so they got spoiled with that, because he needed it. And then we got these for Ava. They were originally on sale for $17.99, but... When you bought one pair of shoes at Rant or Rack Room Shoes in Castle Rock, um, they were originally like $17.99, like I said, but you got buy one, get one 50% off. So these were actually only $9. And she already has brand new Frozen shoes, but like I said, my kid, she goes like a week, guys. Like her feet are. <laughs> She's like tall, and she's got big feet. So we already bought her a new pair to grow into. Um, they're a size nine, and they're just like little light. 
to us there it goes little light up mini mouse shoes she picked them out this is what she wanted again this wasn't like a birthday present it was just because our kid needs it so our kid gets it like uh, we always make sure that our kid is beyond taken care of uh, before we do anything for ourselves pretty much like and then the only other thing in there is uh it was just from Nespresso, like, when I went there, I had gotten them packets just to show my dad, because my dad wants to get himself an espresso machine in the future, so, that's that part, guys, that's Hubby and Ava, and then I showed you guys a little bit of me, it's so hard to one hand, one hand walk, guys. needed it I like like when my family gets the stuff that they want and they're spoiled that's the point of life so anyway that's them you guys got to saw that see that part like I don't know if you guys cared about my husband and stuff but I do because he loves shoes and hats and most dudes do so I'm glad he finally spoiled himself because this man's a hard working man and he like never really does stuff for himself so I'm encouraging him to do so now like I have had on my bucket list for probably I don't know guys like five seven years now I used to have a Louis Vuitton bag G money my dog ate the straps off of that bag so I never replaced the handles and after becoming a mom I pretty much have never spent more than $40 for a purse but after everything that has happened I felt like I deserve to be spoiled a little bit because I've been working my ass off so I went to coach today and I got the cutest bag you guys like this is the thing I'm most excited about like I seriously I have never owned a coach bag. This is a real coach bag. It's legitimately a real one. Um, I bought it at the coach store. And it's just so beautiful. It's one of a kind Italian um, like stitching, she said. And it's just beautiful. It's gorgeous. There wasn't very many of them, so I had to have it. And it has like this on the uh, handle part. It's a backpack. It's not super big, but it's perfect for me to carry my everyday mom stuff and originally this was $392.99 which I would have shit myself no I did not pay that much um, I only paid $100 for it because it was on sale they had a bunch of stuff on sale inside the post store like that's why we love the outlets in Castle Rock in Colorado guys because you can get some amazing stuff and not pay full price. But just so you can see, this is a $400 backpack. Um, there's the, the coach tag for you guys. Anyway, so you guys can see, like, I did get it on clearance, and that's Coach's logo. This is at the Castle Rock um, stuff. Castle Rock outlets. I'm so tired. But anyways, I'm excited about it. I feel so happy because I've literally had this on my bucket list for longer than I can ever explain to you guys so it was a good day but we're gonna end out this vlog put stuff away um thanks you, again you guys for all your support because you guys are helping me obviously grow my influence and I guess do amazing things like this more in the future because you guys are just awesome so keep hitting subscribe keep liking my videos, watching them, and sharing me on social media, because social media has literally been an amazing blessing to our family, and we've just had some amazing stuff happen after I had an emotional <laughs> meltdown, so I think we're both pretty happy right now. We try to keep some stuff private, guys, just because that's how we are, like, but, um, anyways, we had a good day, happy Sunday to you guys. Enjoy this vlog and we'll see you guys in the next one.